Uh, Mr. Assad, uh, thank you for joining us here at the National Critics' Choice. You have just launched this book called Celebrating uh, Europe, an Asian Journey. Uh, tell us uh, more, a little bit about your book and what inspired you to write this book. Right. Uh, this book is not about the European economy or about European politics now per se. It takes what I would call the long view of Europe, stretching, as I was arguing just now, from Poma to the German philosopher Habermas. And what spurred me to write this book was that I thought that people, including Europeans in Asia, were not making enough about historical, uh, about Europe's historical, historic legacy and its ability to survive. So my point was to say there is more to Europe than we see. How long did it take you to write this book? I wrote it in snatches because I was doing other things as well. But I kind of basically started it in 2009 and finished in 2010. Mm. How do you feel right now? Now I'm that you're not finished in 2011. Okay. Well, how do you feel right now? Now that you have already finished this book and now the book is now available uh, at all bookstores. Thank you. Um, I actually am very. Uh, I mean, obviously. When a new book appears, the author is very happy. But um, to me, this is the only book of this kind that I've done. My other work has been more on, uh, you know, the foreign relations of Singapore and some, some very specific things. This is a very eclectic kind of book, and I'm happy that it's out. And I'm grateful to my director and writer, Kesha Bapani, and to um, Mrs. Tina Ong of IT Publishing for having accepted it for our publication. Will you? Are you planning to write uh, your next book soon? I'm working on another book, which is a very different kind of book. It's a biography of a local Singaporean. But I hope to come back to this kind of writing as well some other day. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you very much.